have to whisper because we have the baby sleeping, but today we're gonna take the sweet potatoes that we grew over the summer and we're gonna make candied pecan sweet potato. What's it called? Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes with candy pecans. Ooh, and there's some kind of like lemon in it. It's paleo, it's grain free, it's good, it's great for the holidays, it's great for anything. It tastes like pie. And we grew our potatoes. Okay, the first thing we have to do is we have to wash these things. Because whenever you store them, you don't want to do that. You don't want to wash them first. I had to change my shirt. I took a nap with my kids and I now can't find my shirt. So that explains that. Was, oh, what are you doing now? You have to boil the maple syrup. This is how you candy the pecans without doing added sugar. Almost a paleo recipe. Almost. So, so you put that in. But you do this after the potatoes. Or you could do it while the potatoes are cooking. We just did our separate things. Okay. So. Same thing that you do with any kind of potato. You bake it, you roast it, you put the sweet, you clean up the sweet potatoes, especially for us because they came from our dirt. And then you bake them until they're nice and soft. Tin foil, what you, how long did you bake them for? Like what temperature? Well, these are funky, like this one's really round. So the fat, like the fatter it is, the longer you have to cook it. But so what these cooked for 40 at 400. About 40 minutes at 400. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's starting to bubble. Let it boil two to three minutes, put pecans in, and then continue cooking. Get me parchment paper and a baking sheet so I can pour these on there after they're done. We just put the pecans in and then it kind of, it's like caramelizing them, I guess. Like if you were to caramelize onions and you want it, you want to, or like when you cook down a wine sauce and you want it, all the sugars to kind of stay but the liquid to evaporate, that's what happens with this. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off because I think if you cook this in like a stainless steel pan, you probably need to keep cooking it even longer, but I think, I'm just a little worried we're gonna burn it. I don't know if I've cooked this in a cast iron yet. Add some salt. So see how it kind of pieces up? That's because all of the maple syrup has just turned into straight up sugar. Is that normal? Oh, it's what it's supposed to do. I like more cinnamon, and honestly, I didn't even like follow the recipe for that part. And then you can put it crumbly on top of your sweet potatoes. If you want to make it paleo, you put ghee on top instead of butter, and that's just clarified butter, so it separates the dairy from the fat. Depending on your pan, this might be plenty. I think this was like two cups crushed or two cups chopped. And then we'll put them on top of the sweet potatoes. And it really does make it taste like a really yummy sweet potato pie. But it doesn't have all the processed food in it and I think it's probably got less than eight ingredients. So we'll show you the list in the comments below. Um, this way. What are you wearing, Ella? A ring. Take that pillow out. I grew sweet potatoes. Not a lot, but I did it. These are all yours. I would not call myself a cook. So if you cut in the middle, this is the easiest thing about cooking it this way. You just peel the skin off, like it just comes right off. Some of them were gonna be Kids are kind of losing it. So that we can keep filming, we're gonna start a movie.
Our internet's so slow. This is when a hand mixer or a stand mixer is supposed to come into play. But I don't feel like getting the hand mixer out, so I'm going to use my own real life hand. Yeah! But you put in lemon juice. You're my sister, and I love you. Now mix it all together. Cause this is not a cooking show. So the butters are great fat. The only thing you need to do if you want to change this to a paleo recipe is use ghee instead of butter. So it's it's pretty simple even for people who have gluten or dairy issues. And if you've never made ghee before, you just heat the butter up and then you let it cool and you separate the cream from the top. If it's not an issue for you, then I vote butter. And we also use the Kerrygold butter. Yeah. Get it at Costco, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. Grass fed butter. Well, it's not grass fed, grass -fed butter. You know what I mean. She wants an iPad. I want an iPad. Actual lights. It's always after the fact. Like, gosh, I wish we had some tradition. Oh, 